Get ready to see a lot more action around the Burlington Athletic Stadium. They broke ground today on the Burlington Sock Puppets new entertainment venue. WFMY News 2's Amber Lake has a closer look at the plans and how other stadiums are benefiting from doing the same. This new entertainment venue is set to be active all year long, encouraging people to visit not just during the team's June to August season. <laughs> Burlington Sock Puppets broke ground today. It's an exciting day out here in, in Burlington. On a new building that'll sit right here along the first baseline. Well, it's just been an evolution over time of making improvements that uh, makes the facility more user friendly for a diverse group of people that can utilize it. The new entertainment venue will be available for events hosted by the team and for the community. The Sock Puppets general manager says their goal is to provide a fun and high value experience for anyone coming to Sockville. A large part of this project um, is to continue to allow activation 365 days of the year and um, this, this project really turns this ballpark into a true entertainment venue. The High Point Rocker Stadium did the same thing last year. Well, I think what the, the development creates, this is a destination for more than just baseball. It's people are getting into the habit of coming downtown. Stock and Grain Food Hall and Cogden Yard sit right next to the Rocker Stadium, providing a similar year round experience the Burlington Sock Puppets are looking to bring to their area. The days of a stadium being one dimensional of just being for baseball are long gone. To make it viable for any city or for any downtown or any district is to have multiple activities. The Burlington Sock Puppets are hoping to open their new venue June 8th. 